All right, here's your tutorial for the shooting stars that I promised you guys. I'm going to show you the easiest one first by placing your can upside down on the painting. You're going to make sure the nozzle is facing the direction you want your shooting star to go. I prefer mine to either be shooting down or across the sky. It's really light pressure here. We don't want to put too much or the nozzle is going to blemish your painting. If you want to put something under the nozzle to protect it, you can. I don't. But it's a very light pop. And that's it. This is probably the quickest method just because you can do it so fast. You're not putting a lot of pressure on it, guys. It's really light. Pop. Pop. That's it. It's really quick. I like this method. It's not bad. It's not wrong. I just, I think it's a little uncontrolled and I don't like how thick the shooting stars look. But for the second one, this is a little harder to do. You're going to take a piece of poster board and you just pinch just the corner of it. And this allows you to kind of get that skinny trail when you go to spray. Again, facing it in the direction you want the shooting star to fall. And then you're just going to bring your can in and you're going to spray right in the corner and draw it out. I like it. It's nice and light. It's soft. And all depending on how you hold your poster board, you can get a really nice shooting star. All right, next is my favorite. You will see me use this method for the rest of my career, and I'm going to use my palette knife, which is my favorite spray paint tool. It's also how I etch my trees and make my birds. But you're just going to spray on the back of it. You want to drip the trail all the way down. This is very important. It's what's going to give you a very long trail shooting star. And I like that. Not for my birds, though. I usually shake that excess off. You want a nice thin layer for when you make your birds. But you're going to take that bead, place it on your painting, and you're just going to draw back. And it's going to run out, and then you jiggle it a little bit more. Jiggle. And you get this real nice trail. And that's my favorite method. I think that's the cleanest method. It looks the nicest. When you look at it, you know exactly what it is. And I think that counts more for a shooting star, whereas the others look a little bit more like comets. So it's for you guys to decide which one you like better. Leave me a comment and a follow. Thanks.